Good afternoon, my name is Greg Christensen, I'm an Operations Officer from District 8. I'm here at the uh, factory fire that we've had in Dandenong South on the day shift incident controller. As you can see behind me, we've had a significant factory fire which was reported last night, approximately 1800 hours. It was quite evident to the responding crews from the, from the direct line call that they received that there was a significant fire which had originated in the premise behind. Senior Station Officer Rick Owen was the first responding officer and it was quite evident en route that he was attending a call of quite some significance. His initial call en route was to make pumpers 10 and aerial appliances 3. Soon after arrival it was evident that the fire had taken hold of the factory which was approximately 100 metres by 40 and his call soon after that was for make pumpers 15 and aerial appliances 5. With such a large resourcing request uh, we had support from our uh, sister agency, the MFB, who supplied a number of aerial appliances plus additional supporting specialist gear. The hose laying pods from the MFB and Scoresby were both responded in addition to Frankston's BA van and also the Bayswater BA van. A multi-agency firefight ensued and unfortunately uh, the building behind us was a little worse for wear. The structural collapse was very soon after the initial responding crews booked on scene and a red flag warning was initiated to alert all crews on scene that the building was uh, suffering collapse. Community warning and advice messages were put out very early on to alert all members of the community that uh, there was a significant fire in the area of Dandenong and that they were to stay indoors and monitor the CFA website for any further information. We're now some 18 hours into the incident. It has been heavily supported by District 8 uh, and surrounding brigades to ensure that not only did we have a successful firefight but we've also been able to uh, commence overhaul operations and move into the recovery phase. We've had a number of specialist people on scene who've assisted us uh, from fire investigation, the CIU unit from the local Dandenong division. Uh, we've had the local building surveyors providing specialist advice. We've also had the building tenants and the building owners here who've been assisting us in the recovery efforts. Uh, at this point, uh, we've still got a number of appliances on scene and at approximately 12.30 today, we had a fire which broke out in the office area just behind me. The office area being approximately 20 by 20 metres and we had to move into BA Stage 1 operations. The operations commander for the day shift, Station Officer Booth from Dan on Fire Station, has been able to effectively suppress and contain the fire to the structure of origin and we've been able to implement salvage operations to ensure that all the personal effects uh, of the occupants have been uh, removed from the building. In addition to the specialist appliances uh, from MFB, we had the ultra-large pumper which was there to support uh, their aerial appliances. We've engaged the EPA and also the water company to assist in uh, managing the fire water runoff. Uh, we believe that uh, booms have been placed in the Dandenong Creek to ensure that any fire water runoff uh, has been captured and uh, we, we don't further contaminate any of the surrounding waterways. One of the critical things that we uh, like to maintain at a, an incident of such large complexity is, is a health and welfare monitoring team from the ambulance who are primarily there to look after the welfare of our firefighters. They were activated very early on in the piece and uh, are still here today, still maintaining the welfare of our people. Uh, without their valuable assistance, our firefighters wouldn't be able to operate in the harsh conditions that they have been. Uh, Unfortunately, due to the severity of the fire, we've uh, been able to contain it to the structure of origin. However, it uh, has, uh, has suffered some substantial loss. Uh, the night shift incident controller, Senior Station Officer Rick Owen, assisted by station, Senior Station Officer Devonish, were able to set the foundations for an extremely effective firefight. One of the main priorities of their firefight has been um, protecting the exposures and all surrounding buildings have been protected sufficiently well, some of the buildings only suffering some smoke damage. Uh, all in all, it's been a massive effort by all agencies on scene, police, fire brigade, MFB, Ambulance Victoria, uh, all of our council representatives uh, and all members on scene should be congratulated for the hard work that has not only gone on throughout the evening but also well into today.